Y'all know nothing about this, you need to pay attention. Sit back and relax, it's time for Goodall's Country Kitchen. In downtown Louisville on East Main Street at Erler's Ice Cream. Now I know y'all heard that little uh, that subliminal Erler's there. For y'all that are in my generation, I know y'all remember that old Erler's commercial where they would come in with that subliminal message, Erler's. Try to get you thinking about going to Erler's and getting you a bunch of ice cream. Anyway, this is a nostalgic review for me because I grew up with Erler's uh, I was on the website, saw a little history on there, said that uh, Joseph Erler started with three dairy cows in 1867 and started a dairy delivery business. And then over the years and 10 kids later, they kind of went into the focus of ice cream. And when I was a little kid, there was ice cream, Erler's ice cream shops all over Louisville. And, uh, and then somewhere about 25, 30 years ago, they just kind of disappeared. So now, uh, of course, the Erlers family eventually sold the operation. And then the people that bought that, I guess they changed hands with it in 2015. But for the last 30 years, all you would ever see would be like little ice cream stands or ice cream uh, carts at like Cardinal Stadium or Freedom Hall or something like that. But now, as of a couple years ago, uh, the new owners have opened up a brick and mortar location down here on Main and also order, uh, opened another one in the Highlands by the Douglas Loop on Bardstown Road. We might stop by there. I might show you that one later. But anyway, we're going to go in here on uh, the first and latest Erler's Ice Cream where you can actually go in, sit down, and enjoy some of that old original Erler's Recipe Ice Cream. All right, let's go on in and check it out. All right, we got our ice creams. Mary got the vanilla. And what was the name of yours again, Kenzie? Mint chocolate chip. Mint chocolate chip. All right, tell me how it is, ladies. Come on. It's really good. Can you give me any kind of description there besides the double thumbs up and it's good? Kenzie? It tastes like really good. <laughs> all right before they turn the music back up i'm going to show y'all around this place as you see what the old earlers ice cream stores used to look like there uh yep that's the way i remember it back in the day uh as i said 1867 started with three milk cows pretty impressive my old earlier store used to be main ones were in middletown my family used to go out and visit their friends a lot out in Oklahoma. i guess it was blue lick road we used to uh go to that one a lot look you can buy some earlers merch which uh that's about what i'm about ready to do here i can't leave here without a t-shirt they also got those nice looking caps keychains and you can also buy ice cream by the pint and they have their own bakery goods there some funky looking brownies cookies and see menu board there so if you just let it go and then you can get the money all right and then they got like a courtyard out there outside and you can go out here and eat and watch the people walk by on Main. All right, well, we're gonna work on some of this ice cream and I got a chocolate milkshake. I wanna check that out and be right back. Hey. Oh yeah, it has that distinct taste to it earlier's and it definitely tastes like it did back in the old, good old days, Mary. You don't mind if I have a bite of your vanilla, do you? 
I wish y'all could see the dirty look she just gave me. Y'all see how she does when I eat her french fries, gives me that look of death. Mmm. Mm. That is really good. All right, I'm gonna go up here and see about buying a shirt. We'll be back in a minute, give you some more information. And as I said, we might even stroll on up Barstown Road and see if we can see the one they're opening up in the Highlands. Be right back. See, you got the nice looking shirt. They got them in double X, luckily, because you know how I am. I gotta have at least a double X. All right, so we're about to get out of here, but I'm gonna try McKenzie's chocolate chip mint, or mint chocolate chip, whatever. Mmm. It's really tasty. All right. We're going to go ahead and we'll get out of here. And then the next stop is going to be up by the Douglas Loop. And we're going to see if we can get inside this new one. It's probably going to be packed. A hot Saturday night. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and try and get in the other one. See you in just a second. All right. Here is the Highlands location at the corner of Trevilian Way and Bardstown Road and what's called the Belknap neighborhood. Actually, it's at Dalps Point, but it looks like they got a line of people in there. And I was told by management that they're training people and uh, trying to get the kinks worked out. So anyway, I'll go in here and show a couple clips here in a second. I think this is next door to where the old Barry's cheese steak used to be. All right, do a little walk through real quick. Uh, got a little counter back here. You can sit here and watch the people go up and down Bardstown Road. It actually has an entrance that fronts Bardstown Road. They got that door locked. But anyway, and then you come on in here, you come in through the back door, and then you come up here and you order. And uh, looks like uh, not as big operation as the one down on Main Street, but uh, they got some good looking merch here too. Looks like some couple different shirts. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, look around here for a minute. Oh, look, those little Earlers cows. Isn't that cute? All right, so I'll give you some final information and thoughts here in just a second. Have a little outdoor patio out here. You can sit out here and enjoy a nice cool evening and enjoy your ice cream. All right, so we're about ready to wrap things up here, but as I said, very nostalgic uh, trip for me today. I can remember being so envious of my friends that used to get Earler's milk and ice cream delivered to their houses. I remember the milk used to come in these like clear plastic pouches and they put them, they cut the corner of the pouch off and put it in this orange uh, pitcher and drink that good cold Earler's milk at the dinner table. I was very jealous. But anyway, I'm glad to see we're getting some neighborhood shops back open again. And you know, I've said before, you don't miss it until it's gone. Well, don't let that happen again. Get out of there and support your local uh, family operation here. Let's keep this Earlers going because, uh, wow, I just almost had a wreck there. Anyway, I don't want to go another 25, 30 years and not being able to go to a brick and mortar Earlers and sit down and enjoy it. And with that, y'all don't know nothing about this Earlers ice cream. Now you know the facts of why I'm on a mission. You're always welcome back to Good Country Kitchen.